guys, it's Anastasia and I'm back with another video and I hope you're all having a great day. In my second to last video celebrating a thousand subscribers, I had asked you guys if you'd be interested in me doing a Q&A video to answer your questions and you guys started sending me questions so I took that as a yes. <laughs> So here we are, and you guys have no idea how excited I am to do this video because one of my favorite things is always not so much the what, but the why or the how. So I always enjoy asking people questions and really hearing what they think and their reasoning for different things. And being on the receiving end of questions can be really fun too because I find that often when you're being asked a question, it forces you to actually formulate an opinion on the subject or to actually assess how you feel about it. So often in the process of answering a question, you end up learning something about yourself too. So I just think questions can be good fun and I hope that you feel the same way when I pose certain questions to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now this first question wasn't aimed towards the Q&A in general, but I get asked it in pretty much every video, so I decided to just answer it here as well in case any of you guys are wondering. What camera slash lens do you use? The camera that I use is a Sony a6000, which is considered one of the best mirrorless cameras on the market. I think it's an amazing camera. And for the second part of that question, the lens that I primarily use in all my videos, such as this video here and all my lookbooks, is a vintage Helios. 44-2, 58mm f-stop 2, and it is a vintage lens from the 70s. This next question comes from Beauty Cove, who asks, What is your favorite place to shop, and who's your favorite YouTuber? So in an ideal world, my favorite places to shop would probably be Dollskill, which is a really rad online retailer selling cool alternative clothes and accessories, um, Free People, Anthropology, For Love and Lemons, Wild Fox, definitely Wild Fox, and probably Barnes & Noble. Also Brandy Melville, definitely. As for in reality, one of my recent favorite places to shop has been Aeropostel because I find that they have really affordable and highly wearable basic pieces that I find myself living in because they're just very cozy. As for my favorite YouTuber, I love all of the YouTubers that I watch, but um, I think my favorites are Kick the PJ, Class is Internal, um, Alex Santomo and the Gothic Sprite. I bet you guys are already regretting saying yes to this video because I'm just defying all of the rules of Q&As. I'm sorry. Strike 2 or 3 or whichever strike I'm on right now is that I'm probably going to butcher all of you guys' usernames, so I'm very sorry. Forgive me. I It's Teddy says, my question would be, what is your race slash ethnicity? Sorry if this is offensive, it's just you're really pretty. Thank you so much, no offense taken at all. This question was actually asked several times for this Q&A. So I'd say that I am white slash European. I identify as Ukrainian. I am in part Russian as well, but I was born in Ukraine. I moved to the US when I was four years old. Milk Tea asks, and I love your username by the way. Do you like other cultures and traditions? If so, what country's culture and traditions do you like best? That is a great question, and again, very difficult to answer because it's really difficult to pick just one, but I've always felt an inherent pull towards French culture and I was lucky enough to visit there several years ago and I just felt instantly at home. But I wouldn't say that that's my favorite culture, it's just the one that I've always enjoyed and I've had some exposure to. But I think it's the differences between cultures that makes each one so interesting. What I would love the most is to be able to see Spanish culture and compare it to Irish culture versus Chinese culture versus Japanese culture versus Greek culture and just be able to experience them all. So there goes another question that I failed epically at answering. <laughs> Also, there are certain aspects to particular cultures that I'm especially inspired by. Like, for instance, I am obsessed with early Russian fairy tale culture, like specifically fairy tale culture and architecture. And again, I apologize if I pronounce any of these incorrectly, but Fishfell asks, I really want to know what artists inspire you the most. Hugs and kisses. Aww. XOXO. When I think of artists, I tend not to distinguish them according to their respective mediums. So I'd say the artists that have inspired me the most are, first and foremost, the designer Alexander McQueen, the photographer Tim Walker, the filmmaker Bernardo Bertamici, the painter John Waterhouse, the bands Interpol and Pink Floyd, 
Tim Burton, definitely Tim Burton. And the fairy tale illustrator Errol Lacane. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Errol Lacane. Joe Pahuda asks, What is your zodiac sign? Who is your favorite Harry Potter character? And the most important thing you wish you knew when you were 15. I am a Libra, which is why I wear this all the time, but a Libra on the cusp of Virgo. My favorite Harry Potter character is, and always will be, the one and only Sirius Black. The most important thing that I wish I knew when I was 15 is definitely don't compare yourself to others. To be perfectly honest, I'm still guilty of this from time to time, but it's just such a waste of energy. While I think it is so important to celebrate others and appreciate their beauty and their talents, it's also important to not let that overshadow your own self-love. Just because someone else is amazing doesn't mean you're not amazing in a different way. Chanel Sunset asks, Do you know what your Maya Briggs personality type is? Mine's INFP. INFPs unite because so is mine. The Land of Wabush says, Dear Princess Anastasia, If you were given the opportunity to travel the world to any destination, where would it be and why? Oh my gosh, these travel questions and culture questions are killing me. I would basically just travel the destination of the world just travel the world that's that's one destination surely um but okay if i had to pick one to travel to right now if someone walked up to me and handed me a map and said close your eyes or don't close your eyes and pick a place right now and you will be up tomorrow i think i would pick scotland for no other reason other than the fact that i just am really obsessed with scotland lately also in part because I tend to alternate between periods of wanting to flee to the city that is hectic and alive and bustling and wanting to then escape to nature that is the exact opposite. And seeing as I'm currently in the latter phase, I think Scotland will just be incredible with its unreal green, natural landscape, friendly people, fun culture. I'm always feeling castles, but especially now. <laughs> so my answer is definitely Scotland. Gia Rupi asks, what is your favorite book and why? And do you like to travel? If so, where is your favorite place? My all-time favorite book is Unabashedly Harry Potter. Yes, I absolutely love to travel and I don't get to do it as often as I would like. Of the few places that I've been to so far, my favorite would have to be Paris. And within Paris, more specifically, I absolutely loved the island of St. Louis and Parc Monsou. Kiddush asks, would you define yourself as a cat or dog person? Or perhaps both? I think I may know the answer, but it's nice to watch your videos and replies. Oh, thank you. I'm really glad. I think you probably guessed correctly. I would definitely identify as a dog person. That is not to say I don't love cats. I absolutely love them. I think that they are majestic and beautiful creatures. Whenever I see them in the street, I... In the street? What? <laughs> Whenever I see them, I initiate some sort of relationship but they don't tend to take to me as well as I take to them so I would say I'm a dog person. I Sophina asks if you would have one thing for the rest of your life what would it be? I think that my answer depends on whether that can be something that's like external to me or if it's directly related to my life specifically. If it can be anything, I would say that I would love to have my family with me for the rest of my life. But if it was constrained just to me specifically, initially I was going to say either love or health. But I think that you can have love and lack health, which would severely diminish your quality of life. And if you have health but lack love, you also might still be lonely and not happy. So. I think my answer is just going to be happiness because even if you lack love and health but are still able to live each day happy, then you're all set. This last question comes from Video Soldat who says, Please tell all of us your favorite musician slash bands. My recommendation to you is Korean rap artist Outsider. Well, thank you for that recommendation. I would say my favorite artists are Pink Floyd, Interpol, Debush Mode, The Smiths, Joy Division, The Neighborhood. Um, am I missing someone? Oh my gosh, She Wants Revenge. How could I forget She Wants Revenge and Lana Del Rey? I think that covers it. Yeah, I think that covers it. <laughs>
So now that you hopefully learned a little bit more about me, I'd love to learn a little bit more about you guys as well. So what I would love for you to do, and I think this would be so much fun to read in the comments, is for you to pick your favorite question or favorite several questions that I've answered in this video and then counter it by telling me how you would answer it. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. I was told not to believe, I was told not to lie, I was told not to remember your black mouth. Yeah. I'm so tired.